This is Dr. A with your Clean Camera View video. I'm going to look at the toxicology of household chemicals. All right, we'll start with carbon monoxide. Um, so the primary environmental sources are going to be gasoline engines, improperly vented furnaces, and wood or plastic fires. Um, carbon monoxide is produced by the incomplete combustion of carbon-containing substances. It is a silent killer uh, because you cannot uh, you know, detect it and it can reduce hypoxia. It is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas that is rapidly absorbed into blood from the inspired air. It is considered highly toxic because of its affinity for and binding to hemoglobin. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin uh, and then it's called carboxyhemoglobin. Its affinity for hemoglobin is like 200 times that of um, oxygen and then once it is bound it is uh, irreversible and so therefore that will decrease the amount of oxygen that can bind to the hemoglobin and therefore decrease delivery of oxygen to the tissue which then produces hypoxia. Um, carbon monoxide testing can be performed on some blood gas analyzers. Uh, they use a differential spectrophotometry. They usually have to have a co-oximeter um, or it can be analyzed by gas chromatography. So other household products. So caustic agents are found in many household products in occupational settings. Um, so they're kind of tend to burn and be really harsh chemicals. The aspiration uh, leads to pulmonary edema, shock, and death if you breathe it in. Uh, ingestion will produce lesions in the esophagus, so it burns your esophagus and your gastrointestinal tract, which can then do could cause perforations and then you can have ma massive bleedings and stuff. Um, then onset of metabolic acidosis or alkalosis can occur rapidly after ingestion of caustic agents, obviously depending if they're an acid or alkali. And a corrective therapy for ingestion is usually by dilution of the chemical. Cyanide is used in pest control. It is found in industrial processes, insecticides, and rodenticides. It is produced by burning of some plastics. It is a common suicide agent also. It expresses toxicity by binding to heme iron. Uh, it increases in cel cellular oxygen tension in venous PO2 that occur as a result of the lack of oxygen utilization and it can cause headaches, dizziness, respiratory depression, which can lead to seizure, coma, and death. Pesticides are substances that are intentionally added to the environment to kill or harm an and, uh, undesirable life forms, so an insect or herbicides will be for weeds and stuff like that. Uh, contamination of foods is a major bout of exposure. I uh, think for the insecticides and herbicides sprayed on crops and stuff. Uh, inhalation, transdermal absorption, and ingestion are common occupational or accidental routes of exposure. There's a wide range of toxic effects uh, for pesticides. Um, you can see chronic and acute disease states and even death. The types of pesticides are organophosphates, carbamates, and halogenated hydrocarbons. And to test for those, you have the evaluation of erythrocytic acetylcholinesterase activity for the detection of the organophosphate exposure. However, it is not very commonly performed in most laboratories. Um, definitely would be a send out test. Um, alternative test that has become more widely available is a measurement of serum pseudocholinesterase activity to detect these organophosphates and stuff. Other miscellaneous household products are radon. Uh, you can be close to radon just through the home, uh, especially like carpets and furnitures and things like that. Uh, bleach, uh, especially if mixed with ammonia, it makes chlorine gas, which can be deadly. Um, and bleach can also, you can get it uh, contaminated with skin or inhalation exposure. So be very careful around bleach. Always uh, wear gloves and uh, I would say wear a mask also. Paint, uh, older paints contain lead. We're gonna look at lead in a different video, especially paint uh, that was uh, prior to 1960. Uh, and then some of the bug repellents like DEET uh, is a neurotoxin and ammonia in the window cleaners can also be toxic to your body. That is it for household items.